how does one of these times work for you? 10 a.m. will be great. Our team is looking forward to helping you navigate your retirement planning with confidence. If you're not experimenting with AI to automate your lead qualification and appointment setting, then you are falling behind. The good news is you don't need to be a tech wizard or spend hours coding just to create one of these AI appointment setters for yourself. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the process of setting one up step by step, and I'll be giving you the exact prompt template I've been using to create these AI appointment setters in minutes. Let's get into it. What we're going to be building is an outbound AI appointment setting system that is able to call leads after they've shown interest, say on a lead capture or on your landing page. And if the lead ends up being qualified for one of your offers, it's going to attempt to book them into an appointment live on the call that directly integrates into your calendar and into theirs also. This is a live booking system that's going to be able to negotiate and go back and forth and decide on the time. I have found some available slots for your time zone. What works for you, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday? Based on a calendar and availability that we've set up beforehand, which we're going to go over in a sec. These kind of systems are crazy, and yes, they do work as you expect, as you're going to see shortly. To get started, you need to head to synthflow.ai. There'll be a link down below. This is not a promoted video. I'm not sponsored by these guys at all. I just tried a whole bunch of the different tools that are available, and this one seems to be the best for this appointment city use case in particular. So you can create an account up here, you can go get started. I already have an account, of course. Once you are inside Synthflow, you're gonna see a dashboard that looks a little bit like this. Now, as you can see at the top, I've already reached my plan limit of one assistant. And this is the one downside of Synthflow that I will mention right now is the costs are pretty astronomical. Uh, or quite possibly the most aggressive pricing I've ever seen on any of the tools I've ever shown on the channel or anything here. So big disclaimer, you can't follow this tutorial without at least upgrading to the starter plan. They don't have a free one that allow you to do what I'm about to show you. And a quick jump up to the pro plan is an eye-watering $450 a month. Now, this isn't a sponsored video, but I will reach out to them and see if I can get us a special offer for the community. And then I might be able to continue to make videos on them in the future. But I know pricing is an issue for a lot of you, as it is for me at those kind of prices as well. So once you've upgraded to starter, then you can go back to the dashboard and you'll see a screen that looks a little bit like this. As I mentioned earlier, we are going to be making an outbound appointment setter. So we need to click on outbound here and then we can get into the configuration. Now, this does look quite confusing, but we can just rip through here and call this appointment setter. For the model, we're going to choose GPT-4 Turbo because it has quite a complex qualification script. So we need a smart yet fast model. And for the voice, I'm just gonna leave it the same for now. Voice synthesizer, Turbo Stream, let's leave it on that. Uh, USA language, custom greeting. For the custom greeting, we're gonna say, hey, comma, is this first name? This is in curly brackets with a question mark at the end. And as you can see here, created our first variable, which we'll be going over in a second. Then we have settings like patience level and enable recordings. I'll just leave those as is. And then we get to the real meat and potatoes of this app, which is the prompt and these actions that we can set up. We'll start with the prompt first as I've created a special tool for it. And then we can jump into the real-time booking after that. Because writing the prompt is really 90% of the work of getting one of these AI appointment setters up and running. I've taken a few hours yesterday to create a tool for you that you're all gonna be able to use. And it's going to take in a bunch of information and automatically generate a high performing AI appointment setter script. So that you don't have to mess around and do all of the research I've had to do to get one that actually worked well. Nice. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to generate some dummy data to fill out this with just to give it a test. Obviously for your use case, you'll use your own business data, the own offers that you're trying to sell through it. Or if you're doing it for a client, you can input their data as well. But I'm gonna head over to Claude and say, can you write some dummy data for this prompt generator tool? I'm using Claude over ChatGPT quite a lot now because it seems to be a lot better. As we can see here, we're starting to get some data coming through. And now that we have the data, we can start to copy and paste it over into the tool itself. Of course, if you guys want to get this tool for free, it's going to be available on my free school community. It'll be the first link down in the description. You can click on that. It'll take you through to school. And then in order to get all the resources for this video, there'd be a little tab up the top called YouTube resources. You can click on that and then find this video's post. And inside it will be the link to this AI appointment setter that you can use. So I put quite a lot of work into getting this tool working for you all. So please use it. Um, it's going to make your process of creating these setters so much quicker. So just wrapping through here now, I'm going to copy and paste over this information. Offers and qualifying criteria. Let's give them a bit of spacing. FAQs. Target audience. And strangely, this agent's name is Liam. So we can put that there. There is one change I want to make to this data, which is to remove this other option for a call. We can only set up one option to book a call and the other one we can do with SMS. I'm not going to set up the SMS in this video, but it's fairly easy to do with the same kind of process I'm about to show you. So the top offer is going to be to book in a call if they're qualified. And if they don't qualify for the top offer, they'll be sent an SMS with some other information. You can pause the video to take a look at the information that I've filled out here. 
Uh, I've provided as much information as I can in the notes here so that when you guys are using it, you know exactly the kind of information to put in to get the best results. But basically, this is a financial planning firm for retirees and stuff. Once you've filled out the information in the tool, then you go down and you can click run. It does take a minute or two. It's quite a long process. But the output is something like this. Very well structured, utilizing all of the best practices for writing these AI voice agent prompts. And here you can see we get a complete script, we get FAQs, and we get final details. And everything we need for an AI appointment setter to work as we expect has been included in this. Here you can see the offers and the qualifying criteria. For prospects with one to two million in investable assets who are from five to 10 years from retirement, book a 30 minute retirement readiness assessment call. For prospects who don't meet the asset or retirement timeline criteria, follow up with an SMS. So these are the two offers that the setter is able to present. If by answering the questions in the script down here, the AI is able to determine that they meet the qualification criteria for this 30 minute retirement readiness assessment, then it's going to attempt to book them in for a follow-up call, which we're going to set up in a second. But most importantly, if they don't meet that qualification criteria, it can essentially downsell them to the lower offer. In this case, it's sending an SMS with a link to retirement planning guide. So if they don't meet the top qualification criteria, then the setter is smart enough to be able to downsell them and trigger a different action so that you're capturing as much of this value of these interested leads as possible. What we need to do now to plug this into our voice agent is to copy this, head back over to Synflow, and then we can expand this prompt out and I'm going to paste it in there. Now that we've put the prompt in there, I'm going to save and close, and then we're going to jump into the real-time booking aspect of it, which may sound difficult, but it's actually quite straightforward to do. So if we click here, you will see that we have two options. We have high level or we have cal.com. What we're going to be doing in this tutorial is the cal.com setup, which is fairly straightforward to do. So cal.com, what I'm going to do is click the login button, and then I'm going to click don't have an account so we can create an account. I'm going to continue here with Google to make my account a little bit faster. Then I'm going to put in my details. I'm going to put tutorial account 01 full name, time zone, set that up. Then you get to go through and connect your calendar. So pick the calendar that you want to use. I'm using Google Calendar, fairly easy to do. I'm gonna allow it all access to my Google Calendar. I'm gonna use Google Meet for my video calling. Next step, and for the hours, I'm just gonna leave like this. You can modify it as you wish, and I'm just gonna skip this for now. Then you'll be taken to the dashboard that looks a little bit like this. So now we can jump back over to Synflow. And in order to get our API key and our Cal event ID, we need to go back to cal.com and we click on the settings here. We go to API keys. We click add new, call this tutorial. I'm going to set it to never expire. Save that. Copy this. Paste in the API key here. And then it means you go back and get the event ID. And this can be done by going to the events page. I can click on the 30 minute meeting here. And then up the top here, we need to click on this little ID here. So the number after the slash there, we need to copy this and take it back to Synflow and paste in the Cal event ID. Give it a second and then click next. Then we're gonna to need to do a little bit more setup. Won't take long. For time zone, I'm gonna set it to the New York time zone. So EST, I think that's where most callers will typically be coming in from. First appointment date is 23rd, that's fine. Number of days out from 23rd that they're able to book is three. Number of time slots in a single day, let's have three. Um, number of hours difference, I wanna have these backed up pretty close, so let's put this at one hour between each of the calls. So I've got next. And what you can see as we've set up, we have our real-time booking action set up. Now the final thing, you won't be seeing something like this on your account just yet. You'll need to set up your Twilio account. So for Twilio, you can go to twilio.com. Very easy to set up. Log in. Log in or create an account if you haven't already. Once you're into a Twilio account, you'll need to set up your billing, so add a credit card on file there and then we can come to the phone number section to the manage section and click on buy a number we're going to need to buy one number that's going to be able to do these calls for us for the sake of this tutorial you can just grab any of one here it's going to cost you a dollar a month click buy there may be some hoops that make you jump through here for compliance just go through all the forms and, and do as they say here and then you're going to be able to buy your phone number and it will appear in your account in the active number section over here once you can see it in the active number section here there's one more thing that i like to make sure you've changed and that's to go into voice here, go down to settings and click on geo permissions. And here is where you can set up the permissions that you're allowed to call in your account. Whatever countries you're expecting to need to call, you're gonna to need to come in here and say, in my case, United Arab Emirates. Yep, I've checked that, United States, etc. So come in here and make sure you've enabled any countries that you suspect you're going to need to call or Twilio is not gonna work for you. And once you've got that set up, to finish the connection with Synflow, you need to go to the top left here, my first Twilio account, and to click on the button here, it's gonna take you to your dashboard. And then within your dashboard, you're gonna see this account SID. 
and the auth token here. These are the two fields that you're going to need to take back over to Synthflow. For, for most of you, it'll probably be screaming at you up here that you need to set it up. But if it's not showing there, you can click on the integrations tab. And here you see the fields you need to put in. So you can paste in your account SID and the auth token and save it. And then you'll be integrated successfully with your Twilio account. Heading back to our assistant, we are almost ready to test this thing out. One last thing I like to do is just check through this prompt for any little errors that the generator has made. I'm going to give the firm a name for Williams Financial, a boutique financial planning, blah, blah, blah. So if we had a name for the firm, there's two offers that they're able to do. One is a call, the other is an SMS, which we're not going to set up, as I mentioned. I'm going to remove this instruction here so it doesn't play around with the variables. Just going to check over the script, make sure I'm okay with it. And make sure it has this appointment setting part, which is how does date at time work for you. And that looks pretty good to me. FAQs, all fine. And there's one more bit I want to remove, which is the explanation of who the firm is. I don't think that's necessary considering they've opted into something here. And because if you remember, we chose a female voice for our agent, I'm going to change this to uh, Lily and change this to Lily as well. And with that, we're good to save. And finally, now that we're happy with the prompting and we have a real-time booking set up, we can head to the test assistant screen up here on the side and put in my name. I'm going to put in my phone number so that it calls my phone. I'm going to have the first name as Liam. And we have the Cal time zone and the email. This needs to be the email that's connected to the prospect's calendar so that when it creates the booking, it's going to send both the invite to you and to them as well. So it's going to appear on both. So when you're doing your, your collection or whether this is a lead form or whatever kind of method you're using to capture this data before you send the outbound call to set the appointment, then you need to make sure you're capturing the right email that's connected to their calendar. Also, we have the Cal time zone here. I'm setting it as New York by default. You can collect that in the lead form as well. Now with this all ready to go, I can give it a spin. So, Liam? Yep, this is Liam. Who's this? Hi, Liam. This is Lily from Williams Financial. I'm reaching out because you've shown interest in navigating your retirement transition through our online assessment. Do you have a moment to discuss how we can assist you in achieving a worry? Free retirement. Uh, yeah, sure. I've got a few minutes. We provide the most value during our conversation. May I ask a couple of quick questions about your retirement planning goals and current financial situation? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. How close are you to your planned retirement date? Within the next five, ten years, perhaps? Yeah, I'm planning to retire within uh, maybe five or six years. And would you say your investable assets fall within the one dollar to M range? Yeah, yeah, they do. Lastly, what are your main concerns or goals when it comes to retirement planning? For example, maintaining a lifestyle, minimizing taxes, or legacy planning? Probably just maintaining my lifestyle. Based on what you've shared, I believe a retirement readiness assessment call with one of our certified financial planners would be incredibly beneficial for you. We can discuss your unique situation in detail and how we can help address your concerns and goals. Before I suggest some dates and times, may I confirm if you're in the America slash new underscore York time zone? No, I'm not in the New York time zone. I am in the Dubai time zone, Asia, Dubai. Thank you for that information, Liam. I have found some available slots for your time zone. What works for you? Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday? Monday would be good. Great. For Monday, I can offer you the following time for the retirement readiness assessment call. 9, 0 a.m., 10, 0 a.m., or 11, 0 a.m., Dubai time. How does one of these times work for you? 10 a.m. will be great. Fantastic. I have you scheduled for 10 a.m. on Monday, March 25, 2024, Dubai time. You'll receive a calendar with all the details. Our team is looking forward to helping you navigate your retirement planning with confidence. Before we wrap up, do you have any other Nope, questions? nope, Lily, that's great. Thank you very much, Lily, bye. And there you go, you saw me as I was going through. This is the first test run, so you get to see the issues that happen in the script. There's a couple of things here with the, the dollars. So instead of one M plus, we need to write out one million. And then the, then the little introduction here that was worry-free, she said worry free so as you go through the first pass you'll get to see a couple things that we need to edit five to ten years i think it was this one to two million dollar range we can change it to words so one to two million dollar range and as you heard it checked with me the time zone and i was able to tell it the time zone i was in and then was able to successfully book in this meeting between liam motley and liam um, i got a notification and it's set at the correct time so that's about it for the builder i hope you guys think this is as cool as i do being able to book live on the phone like that is really impressive and the fact that i haven't had to write a single line of code this platform does it all for me. As I mentioned, the pricing is pretty steep, uh, but I think for the amount of functionality you get out of this, if you're able to do it either as an agency, these kind of solutions seem to be taking off right now. If you're watching this video, you are in the perfect place to start taking advantage of some of these incredible solutions that we have. I think for the agencies who are trying to sell these solutions, this is by far the easiest and most high value solution that I've ever seen in the AI automation space because We've done AI agents before, we've done chatbots, but this is allowing you to do all of the cool things that these agents typically do, but you can 
this is the this is the interface. This is how they're contacting them. Instead of having to have some kind of deployment to Instagram, this is going straight to the phone, pick up, value, form, very easy and lightweight for you to do. There's no technical integrations between different platforms apart from the basic thing with Cal.com. So do not sleep on this opportunity. As I mentioned, all of the resources available to recreate this, the prompt generator, and everything is going to be included on my free school community down in the description. So you can join that, find the resources, join the discussion. Everyone in my school community is loving these kind of things right now. So, so if you're not in there and you're trying to start an AI business, I don't know what you're doing. It's the number one place to be without paying a dime. So jump in there and I look forward to seeing you on my free Friday Q&As with the school community. I have a ton more awesome AI voice use case videos coming on the way. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to not miss those. And let me know down in the comments if there's anything in particular in this AI voice realm that you want me to focus on and make a video on. I'm more than happy to do that for you guys if there's enough attention on that comment. But if you are new to the AI business realm and want to start your own business in 2024, click here to watch my complete guide to starting an AI business. Up here, it's over an hour and a half long if you haven't watched it already. Aside from that, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.